I met three-time Mr. Olympia winner Chris Bumstead. And the first thing I did was I asked him about his steroid use. Welcome back to Seven Star Fitness. My name is Keegan, and today we are talking about the meet and greet that I got to participate in thanks to Toronto Popeyes and Peak Performance Supplements. Uh, these guys were organizing an event thanks to the release of Chris Bumstead's newest pre workout, as well as some other products that are probably going to be offered here in Canada, Ontario, Toronto, especially. And in order to promote that, Chris Bumstead came into town and did a meet and greet. It was extremely short notice i got the notice for this like the day before at like i think it was maybe 10 in the morning so it wasn't exactly something that you had a lot of time to plan for but i wanted to get an idea as to you know how this was going to go down and what i could possibly do to make the most of this opportunity so i put it towards my instagram followers if you haven't followed me already please follow me i'll put the link right there so I wanted to try to make the most of this whole experience. So I put it towards my Instagram followers. What should I ask him if I meet him? Because I figured I'd probably get some good suggestions. And one of y'all did come through with a fantastic idea. And it was to ask him about his use of PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. Now, for those of you who don't know, and it occurred to me while talking to some people after the event that some may truly not know, Chris Bumstead is an enhanced athlete he has slash does use performance enhancing drugs anabolic steroids it is absolutely a part of what has brought him to where he is in his career now to assume that because he has used them that is the only reason he's there and you know he has not put any hard work in order to put himself in the position of being the three-time Mr. Olympia winner, as well as the hopeful four-time winner, you'd be dead wrong. Uh, that's just not how that works. But nonetheless, the conversation about performance enhancing drugs is something that is extremely widespread throughout the industry of bodybuilding. Not only through the enhanced athletes, but also through the not enhanced athletes, natural athletes. It's a thought that comes over a number of athletes minds at one point in time or another is this something that is going to have to be part of my career at some point in time other people secretly doing it and i just don't know it uh who's doing it and just finding a way to cycle off at the right time and not get caught who's just slipping under the radar maybe everyone's being honest but maybe when you get to a certain point there's just no further you can go is there only money in this bodybuilding career if i step into the enhanced athlete status all these things are questions that I'm sure have crossed every single athlete, especially on the natural side, at one point in time or another. So it was a great question to ask. So I'm not sure how much of my footage that I took from the event will actually be able to be used and, you know, will be possible for you to hear what I said. So in the interest of actually being able to communicate the content of that i figured i'd just tell you guys about it so first and foremost chris bumstead absolutely fantastic dude just really outstanding chill calm friendly personable he's really down to earth it's the kind of stuff that like almost feels like a cliche when it comes to like someone meeting somebody who is sort of in the upper echelons of a various sports or any kind of real pursuit and you say oh he was so down to earth he really was down to earth it's one of those things where you kind of tend to put these people on a pedestal and create this image for how they are probably going to be in your head and when you meet them you realize this is just a regular person who has put a lot of hard work and ended up in this particular position but he didn't stop him from being a normal person i'm sure there are some people who completely defy that concept they've com become just completely different people the kind of person who you're like oh no you're not grounded you're flying away you're kanye filled with helium in a hot air balloon on m the moon just no gravity just off just gone but this is one of those cases where the cliche holds true and he just happened to be a very chill cool dude to talk to so 
Like I mentioned, first thing I did is I asked him about his BD use. I asked him, well, you know, was this a thing that you were concerned about? Did you have any misgivings? Was it something that you were worried about doing before you started doing it? And he said, you know, I was very cautious about my approach to it. And he said, he said he really wanted to educate himself as much as possible because he knew how important it was to be very knowledgeable before you stepped into this, not only about the potential risks, consequences, but also about, you know, appropriate usage and, you know, dosage, all those sorts of things. It's a very complex world that you're going to need to be very well versed in before you step into it in order to mitigate as many of the risks as humanly possible. So he was very cautious about his approach to it. He was very careful about how he went into it and made sure that he studied up so he knew what he was getting into. He said, you know, I was still con a little bit you know worried a little bit because there is some there's risks to be had here like, but it didn't stop me i made my decision by that point in time and it was it was just a pretty clear decision when he wanted to pursue and he was just intent on doing it from the most secure knowledgeable place possible so the second thing i asked him was so having gone to this point in time in your career is there anything you would go back and do differently had you the chance to, you know, go back in time or something and like redo it or like reapproach the whole scenario from the beginning. And he said, you know, I, like I said, I was very cautious, but you know, I also try to take as little as possible and as few things as possible. It's something he's actually mentioned in some of his other YouTube videos. And I pointed that out as well, um, as I do watch his content on YouTube. Uh, and it was very surprising just to hear a, how open he was about the whole thing, but B, how measured he was about his approach. It wasn't like a, yo, I'm just injecting everything and going hard, you know, you know, getting juiced to the gills and I don't give a damn about what happens. He was concerned about, you know, his longevity as a bodybuilder. He was concerned about the effect it has on his body. And he was concerned about, you know, maximizing its impact. And he said, you know, even now I take far less than I did before but I look better and he's like that's a result of just me being more on point with my diet more on point with my training and really dialing those things in and being a lot more focused about them and he's like that that has paid off a lot and I think that's a big part of the piece of the puzzle is just getting lifestyle factors and your heart your work in the gym on point to a place where you can maximize the impact of what you're what you're doing as a whole and that's a very holistic way to look at your training uh, and I thought that was really interesting, very grounded, despite A, his status, B, what we were really talking about, which is easy to kind of get carried away with when it comes to having conversations about PEDs. So all in all, meeting Chris Bumstead, really cool. And if you happen to have the chance to meet him at a meet and greet, if he comes back to Canada or he comes to a city near you and he's doing a meet and greet, highly encourage it. Definitely go check him out, see him, you know, take a moment to chat with him i'm sure he got told he's an inspiration a billion times over it's the only reason i didn't say anything like that um, but i'm sure he wouldn't mind if he said it again um, now i'm also kind of hoping that i end up prominently featured in the content because i kind of feel like i saw some shots being taken to me while i was doing stuff and i was also part of a, a, a sort of a little collective shot that they did where they wanted to get some like hype material for b-roll i'm guessing if there's any of that and it comes out before I manage to finish this video, I'm totally splicing it in. Please, please, Bumstead, do not copyright block me. I'm not trying to steal your content. I'm just trying to stun a little bit because I got to be in the video. Either way, uh, it was an honor. It was really cool. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what this pre-workout has in store and like giving it a try and seeing how it feels for myself, um, seeing how it stacks up against pre-HD because quite frankly, that stuff has been tippy tops in my books and keeping my workouts absolutely fantastic and pristine anyhow that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed that hope you found it interesting i'm gonna throw up as many pictures and videos and some content from the actual event as i possibly can i uh, hope you guys you know manage to actually pull some kind of information from that i i mean i thought the experience was really cool for me hopefully you got you guys seeing some of the content that i have here from it some of the pieces is cool for you too regardless drop down your comments let me know what you thought of the video let me know what you think of chris bumstead his pre-workout some of his other stuff if you guys have used his protein or if you've used uh, any of his pre-workouts or anything like that let me know in the comments i i mean i'm in canada so i don't have access to everything and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place 
we all shine together. Peace. Just as a quick aside here, a little afterthought, I just want to take a quick moment just to thank Popeyes Toronto, Popeyes Ontario, Popeyes in general, because they're the ones responsible for kind of organizing this event, and Chris Bumstead and Peak Performance Supplements for showing up, having us be able to meet Chris Bumstead, and just making for a great experience. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it, uh, as I'm sure some of the content on my Instagram would uh, suggest. Uh, and I'm looking forward to hopefully being able to do something like this again. Uh, we'll see. I'm not quite sure where my bodybuilding career will take me, but hopefully it takes me to places where I get to meet cool people like this again. And hopefully that content ends up uh, benefiting some of the people out here like this moment got to benefit me in terms of being able to really kind of ask questions that have been on my mind uh, about something really prevalent in the industry. Anyhow, have a good one, guys, and see you in the next one.